Another day, another Smash update, man. Last night, something crazy happened, and we got more content than we actually were told that we would. This is usually the case when Sakurai releases certain stages, DLC. We always get more than what's shown to us, and yesterday was definitely a big representation of that because we got a ton of content. Me costumes, more stages than we anticipated, and for both consoles as well too, 3DS and Wii U. Um, we're gonna get into the details right now. You probably know about this already, and if you don't, now you do. Also, on top of everything, else along with the stages and DLC and the music oh excuse me not stage um, we got the stages we got the me costumes and the music and then we also have character balances patches now if you updated your smash 3ds or Wii U you saw at some point that your replays are unreadable that's because you know whenever that happens you know for a fact that it's due to characters being balanced so I'm, we're going to go into more of the details with that. Um, I read through a lot of the information myself, so I know all of it, so I'll be able to tell you ahead of time. But there's also a trailer that was released, too, for the DLC patch that dropped yesterday. So let's see everything in full detail. I didn't watch this yet, so of course, first time reaction, boys. We in here. Let's check this out right now. This is a minute long. Okay, a minute and 32 seconds long. Let's see what this is all about, man. Daddy Sakurai coming through for us once more. Let's do it. And so we have business suits now. Really clean looking. I'll give it that, definitely. And they got the briefcase for the Mii <laughs> Got a Star Fox and Mii costume as well, too. Very nice look. And plus, it, like the way they have the gun, it actually looks like his hand. Captain Falcon costume. Some people were saying that this means a new F-Zero game is in the works, but I doubt it. Um, I, I hope so, though. And we have the creepiest one of them all, the goddamn Toad costume, which looks disturbing on so many levels. At least the male one does. And then we have Kid Icarus Uprising. In fact, though, wait a minute, hold on a minute. What logo is that? Is that Kid Icarus Uprising in Japan? I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up after the fact. We have Veridi, my favorite character from Kid Icarus Uprising. She's really cool, actually. If you haven't played that game, definitely do. It's, it's an incredible thing all around. And then we have Monster Hunter outfits as well, too. A game that I'm not too into, but I know a lot of people are. So, you know, I'm glad to see that it has representation in this form. These costumes look badass. These look badass as hell. Look like a Fire Emblem character. Oh, shit. Very, the Verity outfit is awesome, though. I I'm really feeling that one. Yo. Hey, Verity! <laughs> She's such a badass. She's real feisty too. Like she's always, she's always like, <laughs> she's always going off on either Pit or or um, Pit Two. But uh, yeah, it's cool to see that they have more costumes coming through. Um, obviously, you know, I didn't expect Verity to be in the game in the first place. So if this is some kind of deconfirmation for her, that's all right with me. I'm still glad to see that she makes an appearance in some form. And considering we have Palatina Pit and um, Dank Pit Pit Two, we, we got Verity now in the in the roster somewhat. It's cool. I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. Um, the business costumes look as well too. The business suits look really good too. Got the briefcase, and then we got the Star, um, the Star Fox costume with the gun on hand. That shit looked real. <laughs> it's always cute to see these me costumes, man. Sakurai, if there's anything that I can say about the me costumes, even though sometimes they may be a bit of a downer because we may attribute those to characters not being confirmed. But I gotta tell you straight up, Sakurai, you make those things so appealing, charming, and just witty. I, I can't, I can't not love them. I, I simply can't. So a ton of me costumes now, by the way. Just looking at these thumbnails for the videos that have previously been released for DLC patches, we got a lot of goddamn costumes. So a lot of variation. Monster Hunter ones as well too. For you dudes who are big fans of that, I know I have a lot of Monster Hunter people on my channel. And also on top of everything else. This update did come with patches to certain characters, certain little things. Now, this one wasn't as major as the last patch, which changed a bunch of characters, but I know certain characters like Luigi, his down throw got nerfed, so a lot of people are happy about that. Um, Sheik wasn't really touched too much. Um, in fact, I don't think she was touched at all. The main focus that this update seemed to address were a lot of the custom moves. So. You won't see your character touch too much if you don't play customs. So this is not really that heavy of an update in that regard. Robin didn't get buffed, sadly. But there were, there were some changes that were made. If you want to see any of those, there will be a link in the description as well, too. Linking you to a Smashboards thread that will keep you updated as this information is found out. Consider the fact 
that this happened last night, only a few hours ago. We don't know all the details 100%, so things will be filled in as the day goes on. So if you're still unaware about how a certain character was affected, check out Smashboards, man. Reddit has a good thing going too with a thread that updates, but I think Smashboards, due to the form layout, is a lot more organized, and the information is definitely better presented there. So head there. In fact, I want to see Smashboards right now, actually. I want to see what's going on with this patch. Smashboards patch. Um, I'm not sure what number this is. Does it say it in the video? Does it say it in the video? Nah, it doesn't say it here. Um, let me see. Um, I just want to make sure I pull this up for you guys. And um, I know there's a lot of you that already know how to do this on your own, but let's make sure you how easy the Smashboards are to navigate. So we have um, news. Let's go to news. New content approaching. Here we go. Oh, and we have the Mario Maker stage as well, too. I was watching Nairo and Shofu play that shit last night, and the ridiculousness of that stage, yo. It can spawn with lava, and it can also spawn with the little boxes where the hand comes back in and draws them in when they're destroyed. It's a really charming level, and I feel like it'll be probably one of the most fun levels to play regularly, because it doesn't get too crazy. Well, okay, it does in some regards, but remember that the stage is always randomized, but a lot of times it's more conservative, and the blast zones are fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man, but okay. Let's see, let's see. Um, balance changes made. Every character got at least, and yup, every character got at least one balance change, too. And um, random talking bush, man. Big shout out to this dude. I'm not following him? This guy, um, random talking bush. He's actually a big name in the game as well, too. He's hacked the game previously. He's found certain files and whatnot, so really cool. Let me see. Um, I'm not sure where the um, thread is that showed all the changes made. Maybe it's on Reddit? Either way, this will be definitely linked in the description so you can see what's going on, man. Um, let me see here. Let me see here. Well, whatever. It'll be in the description. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.